Okay, so this is lecture number one. This is for a quick uh, kind of crash course review of Chem 161 and some of the really important parts that I'm going to pull out. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about for one of these chapters, please check out my website for some supportive material. Um, but again, I'm going to point out kind of the important things, be like, hey, remember this. Okay, now I am using a pen I'm not used to using, so sorry if things are a little off, but I'm going to do my best. So um, we're going to start with where chapter one was. Uh, one of the most important things is going to be significant figures. You do still need to round to correct number of significant figures. Chemistry is all about measuring. So you do need to remember the rules. So what were the rules for counting? They are as follows. Okay, and it's really, really, I'm worried about the zero rules. Okay, I know you know that numbers that are non zeros always count. So, let's see if I can get my pen to work. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Okay, rule number one zeros before the first non zero never ever count. Okay, so zeros before that first number don't count. So, zeros before first non zero don't count. Okay, so zeros at the beginning never count. Rule number two, sandwich zeros do count. Zeros, I'm gonna call them sandwiched, right? Between numbers, oops, do count. And then the controversial zeros, the ones at the end, right? Do they count or don't they? And that's depending on if there's a decimal. So zeros at the end count if there's a written decimal somewhere. There's a written decimal. Now it doesn't matter if the decimal is before, it doesn't matter if the decimal is after, it just has to be written somewhere. Okay. All right. So those are our six big counting rules for the zeros. Um, also, uh, scientific notation anything before the X is considered a significant figure. Um, when you're doing math with the significant figures, multiplication and division, don't forget you round to the least number of significant figures. You can only be as precise as your least precise measurement. So round to least sig fix. Now in this class, most of the time that's gonna be two or three, most of the time it's three. So if you're not sure, just round to three sig figs. Okay, addition and subtraction, however, round to least decimal places. Five, so it's only got two decimal places versus one, one decimal place for your final answer, okay? And if you have mixed operations, make sure you follow those through. Now, how do you know what numbers to look at? Right, remember to look at the numbers in the problem, okay? Um, conversions don't count. So if you're converting something, if you're using one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, that one mole, that's that's not a significant figure. You're not gonna round one significant figure. Same thing, 6.022, don't use that for your sig figs because that's a conversion factor. So just the numbers I give you in the problem. All right, 